How's it going? I'm Aaron Hallett. I write original Christian rock and I make these videos to show you my songwriting process. The idea behind it is just showing you that songwriting is not that difficult. As long as you don't overthink it, you just got to pick up something, you play an instrument or whatever, or if you don't play an instrument, start with vocals, I don't know, but just start with something and keep adding and, you know, go from wherever you start and just keep making something out of it. And that's what I do. I just don't overthink it and I just start improvising stuff. I do usually have a song outline in mine. That's a good idea. So you can stray from it if you want to. Mine is usually just A, B, A, B, A, B, that sort of thing. Sometimes I'll start with like, um, well, I'll call like the A section the verse and then the B section the chorus, but I'll start with like a half intro chorus or something sometimes. For the most part, that's my song structure. Grab this, came up with a riff. It's kind of mid-afternoon. I'm a little bit sleepy. I just get sleepy in the afternoon, like go to the gym, eat lunch, go into a food coma. <laughs> And I grabbed a coffee to wake up a little bit, but, you know, came out here. I should start waking up as I go. So, yeah, I've got a riff in mind for a verse and a chorus. Um, I set the tempo. So you're going to hear a drum loop. I use that in place of the metronome that's built into my DAW here because it's just more fun to play, too. It's a little bit repetitive, but it's so much better. And it's the drum sounds I'm going to use when I actually play the kit. So that way I can kind of just get a feel for how the mix is going. It's still a little bit hot. Ooh. I'm going to do like a little bit faster pace, just really easy rock riff for this, which is pretty typical for me. I'm just going to do that F sharp E power chords, and then I'm just going to go A with that F sharp down, and then make it a D triad. The verse, uh, actually, wait, maybe that'll be the verse. I'm switching this around in my head right now. And I'm going to go into I think I'm actually going to switch that. That was going to be in my verse, but I think I'm going to switch places here. That's what I'm talking about. Like, just make stuff. If it sounds better one way or the other in your head, just do it. So I'm going to do a left and a right guitar. Sometimes I do overdubs, but... The last two songs I did just two guitars and it sounds really pretty nice so I'm just gonna maybe just keep going with that. We'll see though. That's subject to change. I'm going to improvise a guitar solo on the third verse. I grab my bass guitar and I'm going to do a bass part. I improvise these two, so I'm going to follow really close to the guitar in the verse and then the chorus. I might just do a couple little simple run around the scale type things, but nothing crazy. The bass part's done, so now I'm gonna do the drums. The drums are finished, and I took a little bit of time, put some lyrics together. I came up with a melody, and I'm just gonna sing this thing. So I was warming up, I got chorus part here, which I can play, it's just me warming up. Um, I call this my scratch truck, though. It's a memory aid in case I sing through the verse and then compartmentalize and forget the chorus. But anyway, here's the part. Like I said, it's there for a memory aid in case I butcher this and forget. <laughs> I usually don't if I keep this here, but if I delete it, then I'll forget. It's, that's how it works. But anyway, here I go. I 
I just finished that up. I deleted the scratch track already. Um, get my headphones off here. Monitors back up. The lyrics are going to be at the bottom of the description box. Towards the middle, you can purchase and stream my music online, and I got all the places you can do that. So you can go to my YouTube topic page by following the link, and that'll just take you to where you can watch. It's on YouTube Music, so if you use that service, that's what it is. I also have a whole list of places I'm available on, iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, and a bunch of others in that list. There's no links because there's just so many of them, but if you use, say, Amazon, Spotify, whatever, just go to it, type my name in the search bar. You should find me right away. Same name as the YouTube channel, Aaron Hallett. The top link I have... I mentioned earlier this is Christian Rock, so I just put a link in there to what I think is the bi- or what I think is the best Bible teaching you're going to find anywhere. It's not a lot of fluff. It's studying the word exactly. Not a lot of trying to cram ideology and legalism down your throat or going the other way. It's literally just going into exactly what the Bible says. So there's a lot of translation from the original languages going on with the intent of getting the exact meaning the writers are intending. That's fantastic because any English translation you pick up is going to have flaws in it just because that's the nature of our language. It's not super precise versus the New Testament Greek, which is really precise. Hebrew is vague, but still you kind of miss a bunch of idioms and stuff that really open up the text when you uh, know what it's actually being said there too. So a lot of that stuff is going on. Um, they're just teaching faith. Faith is the only way you can please God. And it's faith specifically in Jesus and the finished work of Jesus on the cross. So Jesus paid for everybody that ever existed and will on the cross. All fall short, but Jesus paid that price. You look to Christ and just to Christ and you do so in faith. Most people aren't teaching that and they're trying to implement all kinds of things. So I say it's fantastic. Check it out. You can agree or disagree with me, but it's there if you want to see it. So that's in the description box too. Anyway, if you want to keep seeing my music, subscribe, like, comment, share, check out my playlist, check out the stuff in my description box, and you'll find me all over the place. With that, I'll say see you later. The song's coming up so you can uh, see the finished product. Thanks for watching. Bye.
if you 